hey Rosa. So I was at the library and I stumbled upon a book that I decided I wanted to share with you because my current challenge book is taking a while to get here from the library. So instead I'm going to do another distracted by video and this one's on Bad Days in History, a gleefully grim chronicle of misfortune, mayhem, and misery for every day of the year by Michael Farquhar. Yep, that's right. He took our worst days and he made it a book. And this book is one that you don't have to have a super in-depth knowledge of history to understand. It's very short blurbs with summaries of the events because with 365 different entries, he can't go super in-depth. I think the longest chapter is maybe three pages. I call each day a chapter, but really it's an entry. And Michael Farquaad, if I had to describe the tone that he uses in this book, Gleefully Grim really works because there's some times where the events are just so terrible that he takes it very seriously and it's very grim. But there's other times where he sits there and goes, this is ridiculous. Like, why did people think this is a good idea? And so he puts a lot more of a funny, gleeful tone on it because sometimes failure can be funny. And sometimes it's a, he uses a mix of both t tones to work through and be like, yeah, this is kind of a sucky event, but it's also kind of funny. And there can be funny elements to a bad event. And I think he does a really good job balancing that tone because if he was grim all the time, this book would be very Eeyore-esque, let's say. But if he was more on the let's make fun of humankind side of things, well, that would be disrespectful to some of the events that he talks about in this book. So overall, I mean, I had no expectations when I was coming into this book. You can probably tell if you looked at my Goodreads shelf about three weeks ago, I added basically every other one of this author's books to my to read shelf. So, I mean, I really like this book. I'd give it a five star. It was, it took my expectations and well exceeded it. And so, yeah, um, Michael Farquaad's Bad Days in History. I'm not going to try and say the rest of that title because I've messed it up so many times. You have no idea. I could make a blooper reel just of me trying to say that title. But anyways, yeah, so if you want a good his fun history book, that would be a good one to read because it's definitely not taking itself too seriously. Okay, so I'll see you again when I finish up reading my next challenge book, but this was just a nice little distracted by element. Okay, bye!